In actual fact, I haven't played a lot of guitars. This has been my guitar for uh, 26 years. It's been on every single record that I've recorded since I started recording. It's played almost every concert in my professional career. Uh, I don't, in fact, have another six-string guitar. I don't need another six-string guitar. I've got this one, and that's all I need. <clears throat> that's been to uh, Australia. It's played um, uh, almost every, every territory in Australia, almost every state in Australia. It's played the Hong Kong Folk Festival. It's uh, been uh, on stage at, uh, at uh, Lincoln Center in New York. It's been on stage at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. It's been uh, all over London. It's been all, all over England. It's been in France. It's been in Germany, Belgium, Holland, Denmark. Um, God, where hasn't it been? <laughs> that, that guitar has been everywhere. So I, I, in fact, don't play a lot of guitars. This is, um, with all due respect to other makers, that's the best guitar that's ever been made in, in the history of music. And I have a, a whole lineup of people who will tell you exactly the same thing, uh, who have played that. I've been offered tons of money for that guitar. I've had musicians, uh, I did a workshop at the Calgary Folk Festival a number of years ago, uh, and I was down this end of the stage, and Jim Cuddy was down that end of the stage, and when the workshop ended, Jim Cuddy made a beeline for me, and he went, what is that guitar? And I said, it's a grit Laskin, and he goes, that's amazing. And he goes, what do you got in it? And I said, it's just a Fishman Thin Line pickup. He goes, that's all that's in there? I said, yeah. Uh, that is the most amazing guitar in the world. I, would, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have it. Grit's instruments start out um, as just exceptional instruments um, uh, off the top. But I think this, the secret to making one of Grit's guitars sound really fantastic is that it has to be played a lot. And the sound for this guitar really didn't actually settle in until it was about 10 years old. And after 10 years of sort of bashing it and whatnot. So, I think what, what makes the, the guitar sound good is the fact that it's, it's been played a lot. It was a great instrument to begin with, but it's been played a lot. It's been banged around a lot. Um, it's, um, it's had a chance to breathe. It's had a chance to, to pick up all sorts of little quirks and, what, and all those things add up to the character of this particular, uh, of this particular guitar. Even the, I'm sure that the fact that there's a couple of cracks down here that, that, that opened in it that I'm sure had something to do with making the, the top resonate in a different way. Um, it's, just, it's just a guitar that gets played all the time. What drives me nuts about, about Grit's instruments is a lot of his instruments are bought by collectors. They buy them and the guitars go down into a basement somewhere or into a display case and they don't get played. And, and the, only, the only way to make an instrument sound up to its full potential is to play it.